Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to show you our ASO tool. Okay, so you probably noticed that I'm dressed, dressed really nice today. Uh, now I had a client meeting this morning. I had a, sh a couple of client meetings this morning. So it was, you know, it was a new client. So, you know, every time I have a new client, I go in the suit and then later on it sort of degrades into jeans and polo shirts and all this stuff. And then I guess eventually if I have a client long enough, it's going to be tank tops and shorts. But so far we haven't got there yet. So anyway, I was going to change earlier. I thought I, I could just run home and put some jeans and a t-shirt and I thought, you know, if you had to choose between, uh, and when you're working, uh, looking good or feeling comfortable, we all know what you should do, which is, is to look good, right? So, ah, so I thought I'd keep it on, at least for the video. So, anyway, what I want to talk about today is, a few weeks ago I did a video on ASO tools, or some of the popular ASO tools out there. So I gave my review of Sensor Tower, uh, Mobile Action, and I talked about some of the libraries and stuff that are out there, uh, which, I, which I find really, really good. Uh, but so today what I wanted to do is, is show you some uh, an ASO tool that, that we've been working on. Now ASO, for those of you who don't know, uh, ASO stands for uh, Alexander Scott Orson, who back in 1920, he had an app empire that, uh, that was, has been unrivaled over the years of time. He's kind of like the godfather of app development. So we all, we all you know, think about him. And so we named this method after him, right? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I thought that would be funny, right? So, okay, so app, ASO obviously stands for op, App Store Optimization. So because just like with SEO, uh, search, search engine optimization with the web. Uh, ASO is app store optimization. So there's so much, so much content going into the app stores that you can't just put something out there and expect it to work anymore. So there's all these different ways to optimize it for keywords and screenshots and everything like that. Although imagine uh, Alexander, Alexander Scott Orson did exist. That would be so awesome. He'd be like our Mark Twain and we could have quotes and stuff that he says. He'd say, oh, you know, like the great Alexander Scott used to say, the icon is dandy, but the keyword is divine or, or something like that. Anyway, so anyway, he doesn't exist. So let, let me show you here on my website. So, so basically I talked about some of the different libraries a few weeks ago that we use. And I said that we were working on something for our, our own website. So we, uh, our developer Calvin has been working on this for the past couple of weeks. Uh, we've been using it just ourselves. Uh, and it, you know, it seems to work pretty well. Uh, so we, we just put it, uh, made it available on a website. But there's one thing we haven't tested it with like large groups of people. So uh, if you try it out and it doesn't work, just let let me know. You know, we just but we're putting it out there. It just as something on our website. So have a look at my screen here. Here's the Overpass website. Uh, I know it doesn't look like much, but we've been you know adding content to this for years. It actually has like I think it had. 4,000 pages on it if you went through and looked at all the different pages and all the blog posts and everything like that. Uh, so uh, it, it, so we're pretty proud of it. So we, you know, we have content going out every day, uh, not just the videos, but we have infographics and blog posts and everything like that. And we also have another site, overpassdesign.com, where we have where our designers are just going ahead and you know, creating new resources. A lot of them we're making available for free. So if you're a game developer or an app developer and need some resources, you, know, you might be able to use those. Uh, and then, you know, our reviews and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, up here at the top, we just added this today. It's the ASO tools section. So let's go ahead and click on this. And again, it, we might still have some issues here, but you know, we'll, we'll work on it, you know, over the next few weeks and months and everything like that. We're just, you know, putting this out there. There's no charge for it. It's just, you know, it's based on open libraries out there. So we just thought, you know, we'll just make it free, all right? So, uh, so you go in here and you you can select uh, iTunes or Google Play. So iTunes works faster than Google Play, uh, just, just the way it is. So if I choose iTunes here and I select a category, I can check the score of a keyword. I can look for suggestions for new keywords and I can check the visibility of certain apps. So let's start with score first. So I select score and I can type in a keyword, right? And it will give me different scores based on how saturated that keyword is. So let me just go into, let's type in gems because that's like a popular game topic here. So I type in gems, uh, you know, see it has a difficulty of 5.85, so that's from 1 to 10, so this is kind of in the middle, you know, it's not, uh, it's not super easy, but it's, you know, it's not super hard, uh, and there's the difficulty, and then there's traffic, these two sections, and these are all based on, on that library, so, you know, in general, how, how long are these apps updated, uh, you know, uh, different, how many competitors are there, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. 
So, uh, you know, have, have, you know, have a look at that. There's, you know, different scores here and everything like that. And it might help you, you know, just check, you know, the, the scores that you have. Another one here, if I go in here and I select uh, keyword suggestions. Now, you can do keyword suggestions based on an app or based on just some seed keywords. So, let me just go here and say, I'll do suggestions based on uh, Ear Spy because that's my app, right? And I can select here. Uh, it's, this is, it gets a bit uh, complicated. I can select popular keywords from that category, uh, which is medical, uh, of, of my app, or I can select uh, similar apps. You know, apps that are you know, tagged as similar, so they're on the side, um, the side menu of you have similar apps in the section, or competitor apps, or I can just do based on apps. So let's say I go similar here, and I say I want to retrieve you know, 30 keywords. Click on that, and it will give me a list of keywords here, and I could copy them to the clipboard if I wanted to go into iTunes, or I could click tap on any one of these and see the score of them. So, so just like that. Now, again, what I, one of my big complaints about Sensor Tower and Mobile Action was they were too complicated, and this also is complicated. So you know, you know, you might get some use out of it, you might not. Like I said, this is something we used internally, and trying to think whether or not you know we should release it because we're probably a lot of documentation we need to add that we, we need to do, uh, or it might be something you might just be able to pick up right away. So, uh, so you know, check that out. So that's that's another thing. Another really cool one here, though, more more useful I think is just to do a search. So you do uh, let's say so based on iTunes, I want to check on. I want some keyword suggestions, so I type in a C keyword here. So if I go, um, uh, let's go with, let's do gems again, actually. And that's kind of where you have to hit enter. So I could type, uh, say, gems, and I want to do Chinese. Why not? Uh, so I do 30, let's do 50. Right, so when I'm thinking of new keywords, you know, I might know a few of them, but there might be some that I don't think about. So I'll put this in here and I come back with some other things. So. Uh, and it, it all depends on this library. Sometimes you get stuff that makes sense, sometimes you don't. So app, game, features, uh, fa fun, Facebook play, puzzles, uh, whatever terms, privacy policies, amazing Mandarin. So let's do Chinese because I think the gems is throwing it off here. So I could do uh, restaurants, Mandarin, takeout, subscription period. Uh, so yeah. You know different types of things. So, uh, and then finally, we have the visibility. So, if you want to check to see how how your app is doing or how a certain app is doing, you could just go to the App Store and look uh, based on a, a one. But let's just go here. We'll continue with Ear Spy, and we can see that it's not it, right at the moment. It's not included in any categories. It, it's not ranked in any categories, and it's not uh, ranked globally, at least not in iTunes. But it does. You know, for the term Ear Spy, ranks first. I would hope so. Uh, for ear, it ranks 12th. For spy, it ranks fourth on iTunes. Not, you know, it's much better on Google Play. Uh, for super, it's 102. So, you know, this kind of stuff could be uh, could be very interesting. Let's go over to Google Play here. Do visibility again. Let me just type in ear spy again. There's a few few quirks here and there. Oh, there's so so many copycats. All right, so I'll do that there. And like I said, Google Play just takes takes a lot longer here. So. Okay, so that took about 20 seconds. So I did stop the I did stop the video there for a second. So here you can see if I type in uh, the visibility on EarSpy on Google Play, I can see it's ranked number 95 within the category. That's the U.S. category. It's zero globally. Uh, ranked number one for EarSpy, uh, number one for Ear, number one for Spy. This is all the U.S. markets. Reviews, use EarSpy, all that kind of stuff. So. Anyway, I'm not saying the tool is perfect. I'm just saying it's something that we use. I thought I'd put it out there. We're not charging for it. If you might find some use out of it, you might not. You know, you might find it more confusing than using Sensor Tower or Mobile Action or one of the many others that are out there. But we thought we would just, you know, we would help out on our side to put something out there, and hopefully, hopefully it helps. Uh, and uh, yeah, and if you notice anything wrong with it, you know, let us know because you know we'd like to get this perfect. Uh, you know, ideally we'd like this to be something we could offer to our clients as well, just as a as an add-on on a bonus, as a bonus and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, so that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.